Today we're going to be talking about minerals. Minerals are found everywhere on the earth. 99% of all minerals are actually within earth's rocks. Minerals are also essential for human life. Foods such as bananas contain minerals like potassium. Um, drinks such as milk contain calcium. And rocks also um, contain um, some minerals. And toothpaste has a, a, a mineral called fluoride. Daily use such as toothpaste also has a mineral called fluoride, which keeps our teeth clean and healthy. Minerals are farmed underground. They are farmed either due to um, the rock when it is exposed to air. That's how minerals can be farmed. Another way is that when two tectonic plates, when they crash into each other, a huge explosion happens. Through this huge explosion, lava comes out. Therefore, when the lava cools down, the new minerals get formed. Also, minerals cannot be man-made. They have to be naturally made. And this process of making minerals takes millions and millions of years. So, some people use plastic to make fake jewelry, like um, diamond, emerald, and uh, ruby. Um, these gems, these fake gemstones, are actually just made of a bunch of plastic. How to identify a mineral? There are five steps to identifying a mineral. One is that it has to be a solid. Two, it has to be naturally made. Three, it has to be inorganic. Four, it must have a specific chemical structure. And five, it must have a specific atomic um, elements. Inorganic means um, it cannot be made out of dead plants and animals. And what I mean by chemical structure, I mean that it has to be made in a three-dimensional structure. This three-dimensional structure is called the crystalline structure. And the fixed atomic elements must be repeated through like a pattern through the crystalline structure. Wait, hold on. This would be a pretty good example of it. This would represent the uh, three-dimensional structure. Now we will show you some examples for a better understanding. First, let's look at this oil. You see this oil? Let's look at the first step. It says that the, the minerals must be solid. However, when I look at it, it's a liquid, therefore classifying it not a mineral. Next is charcoal. Charcoal, um, it is a solid. It is naturally made, however, it is organic. It comes from wood, dead wood that's burned up, therefore, it cannot be too. Next is plastic. Plastic, it's a solid. However, it is not naturally made. It is man-made from factories. And then next, is copper. Copper, it is a solid, it is, it is naturally made, it is inorganic, it has a specific chemical structure, and also it follows a atomic, it repeats a, an atomic element called copper, which is this. Next is salt. When you look at salt, salt is solid. Um, salt is naturally made, it's inorganic, has a chemical structure, and the atomic elements inside salt is sodium and chlorine. When they go through the uh, three-dimensional shape, the three-dimensional figure, or the crystalline structure, it makes salt. And surprisingly, it is a mineral. Next, we'll go on to diamonds. Diamonds and, and gold. gold. So, let me take one. So, one, let's, take, let's first take diamond and gold. Both of them are solid. Both of them are naturally made, they're inorganic, they both follow the three-dimensional structure, and um, diamond is made out of an atomic element called carbon, while gold is made out of an atomic element called aram. And lastly is graphite. See, you can find graphite. You see this graphite? It's the pencil lead. The pencil lead we classify graphite. Hold on. I'm trying to pull the graphite out. As you can see, see, this is the graphite inside the pencil. And um, this graphite is a solid. It is naturally made. It's inorganic. However, it does not follow the chemical structure, but 
it has the same uh, atomic element like diamond, which is carbon. The reason why uh, graphite is not a mineral is because of the chemical structure. The chemical structure and the atomic um, elements are the most important parts in identifying a, sh a mineral. Diamond is one of the most hardest substance in the world, therefore not you can only break a diamond with another diamond. However, graphite, it is very easy to break. Even though it has carbon just like diamond, because of its chemical structure, it is not. It is still very like light and soft. And it can be easily broken just like what I did over here. These are the different uh, examples of minerals. Now that we have learned about minerals and the import and the identification of it, let's learn the importance of minerals. Minerals are very important to the environment, but not only to the environment, they help ourselves and, and our health. Minerals is not easy to replace. It takes millions of years just for it to be formed. We must be responsible and use minerals wisely and reuse them every single day so that we won't have to extract much from the earth's crust.